Hello guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we need to finish the CRUD operations for work experiences. Since we finished the new create, edit and update action implementation, now we need to allow users to delete their experiences if they want to delete. Okay, so first we need to add the link to delete the work experience record. Okay, so switch to the project directory and here in the work experience partial, you can see that we added the link to uh, edit work experience okay now just below this link we need to add another link to delete the work experience okay so link to and then provide the path here so work experience path and then work experience object okay however since this is the resource route so you can only use work experience object here rather than work experience path and then work experience object and then use some data attributes but not the stimulus controller instead we need to use turbo method delete and turbo method a uh, turbo confirm with some confirmation message okay and then turbo confirm here we can use are you sure you want to delete this experience this section cannot be undo okay sorry and save this and now we need to add do block here because we will display an icon to delete the link okay and here add an icon class bi trash and text danger okay save this and now come to the browser to see if we can see the link uh, to delete the experience okay so here you can see this is the icon showing here now if uh, you click on this link you will again see uh, you will see the confirmation dialog here that is showing are you sure you want to delete this experience this section cannot be undo now if you click on ok and come to the browser to see it that request is coming successfully at the destroy action in the turbo stream format okay with parameter id but nothing happens here why because you here in the work experience controller you can see that our destroy impl uh, action implementation is empty now okay so we need to finish its implementation so let's do that in this destroy action first we need to use the respond to block respond to do format and in this block first we need to remove the work experience object so at the rate work experience dot destroy okay and then we need to replace the existing work experience uh, sorry we need to remove the existing work experience after deleting it okay so what we need to use format dot turbo stream and here render turbo stream then turbo stream dot remove okay and now we need to provide the dynamic id here okay and the id we need to provide here is the same id okay so we can copy it from the update action and just paste it here so what will happen now that whenever you perform a delete request or whenever a user try to delete an existing experience okay so this dom id will be removed okay after deleting it from the database okay so let's try this save it and come to the browser and now if you let's say if you click on this experience to delete it okay so click on okay and you will see that the item has been removed from the dom and in the terminal you can see that a delete request has been performed okay and the record has been deleted from the database okay and now if you refresh the page you will still see only one experience okay so this is how we can perform the delete operation using the turbo stream so our work experience controller implementation has been finished here and you can see that we performed all the requests in the turbo stream format okay so try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata Goodbye, take care and stay safe.